for dragging back on the video and today he's gonna be showing y'all how to make a iRail thumbnail so without it being said let's straight into it this is gonna be a simple tutorial so the video help y'all make sure you drop a like and subscribe and y'all go check out my pay help down below i will be selling some files that i don't put on youtube for free but with all that being said let's just straight into this bank all right so the first thing you obviously want to do when making these is go to photoshop go to file new and pick 1280 by 720 now if you don't know how to get photoshop join my discord server below i will have free links for everything you need so join it and i'm gonna get you right but you just want to come here and then you want to go to uh, wherever you get your image. Just right click, copy the image. Come over here, hit Control V. And you just want to make this smaller and kind of resize it until you get to the right size. All right, so this is the size I'll be doing. Now you want to hit P on your keyboard to go to the pen tool. And you just want to cut this out and I'll be back with y'all once I cut out the entire image. All right, so just connect the dots and make selection. Fit the radius on one, select inverse, and then you just want to do it right there to uh, create a mask on the layer. So after this, you want to go to brightness and contrast and just up the brightness on the image like that. And then you want to go onto this image, go to filter, then camera off filter and wait for that to open. Now that you're in here, only thing you want to do is up your texture right now. We're not going to focus on the other stuff. I mean, you can up your blacks, your whites, shadows and exposure though to make the image brighter. But that's pretty much all you want to focus on. You might have to turn your brightness down a little bit because you did that. So after this, just hit Control with J. Go back on here. This time you want to delete the uh, mask on the layer. And you want to uh, right click, convert this to a smart object, go to filter, then blur, gauge and blur. And you want to set this to about 2.6. After that, you want to double click layer one, go to inner shadow. And you just want to basically add something similar to this right here. Uh, like lower your distance mess with your size just something similar to this and you also can add like a little drop shadow to it something like that and then just say okay and you want to go up above the whole image put on vibrance and saturation saturation you don't want to do too high though but brightness and contrast you want to up that and then up the contrast and then on the image back here you also want to up the uh, brightness too kind of like this right here so your image should look like this after that, you just want to go to file open bring an emoji and i'm gonna just get this right here you can find this in my pack on my channel i'm pretty sure have a lot of uh, emojis in there that will be in the description also but just bring in an emoji and like i said i brought this one in so i just will put this over here drag it down a little bit and just right click copy this layer style and right click and paste it and have something like this after this what you can do is create a new mad a new layer up here hit b on your keyboard uh select the color of white and him b will bring you to the breast tool you just want to go up here make sure your hardness is all the way on zero and you want to click right here and you want to click right here you just want to leave it how it is now you want to go behind this image or these images and make your brush bigger with the brackets on your keyboard and you just want to tap behind the image like so kind of like that right there and you can lower the opacity just a little bit after that you want to go right here create a new layer in between those so you can create a mask or if you don't know how to do that just right click and um create a clipping mask it'll be right there but just tap on the side with the white brush that you have and do something like this kind of basically like that let me just set the linear dodge lower the opacity have something like this and you can go to brightness and contrast on this image up the brightness go up here to contrast probably up there a little bit more then up the brightness a little bit more uh lower it about 25 or 26 and just have something like this and now all you have to do is go to camera off filter and I'm gonna just lower the brightness a little bit more though. I don't want too high by right there. You just go to camera off filter, group those, hit control J, then you control it. Um E. And if you don't understand it, um just slow the video down. Or hit me in the comment section. But after you just want to go to filter, camera off filter. And I'm gonna apply this setting and show y'all how y'all can do it. Alright, so this is a preset I use. And you can just copy these settings right here if you slow down the video. But pretty much all this does is just make it look better. So I just leave these on default. But um, yeah, 
really what I recommend doing is open your texture, your clarity, vibrance. And uh, you can lower your shadows to get like a darker image, up your contrast. And you really don't have to mess with all this, but the blue primary does help a lot. And this right here doesn't really make a difference too much. So you can just hit OK after. And then after this, you want to go to Camera Raw Filter again, or you can go to Topaz Labs. It's up to you. But I know everybody doesn't have Topaz, so Camera Raw Filter would be easy to use. So we'll just go to Texture. Put this on about 25 so we can make the image look a little better. And then we want to go down here to uh, Noise Reduction and Sharpening. We'll set noise reduction to about 25 because you can already see a difference. And then we'll just sharpen this about 65. And you want to hit OK. And then you can see a difference between how we started and then how we ended. So it's pretty much how you make a simple thumbnail on Photoshop. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you drop a like and subscribe. Being boy Dragon, peace out. And go get that free PSD in the bottom and support your boy. Let's get it. We're on the road to 5K.